Morning everybody, today we're drawing some fish. Um, as an art teacher who teaches drawing a lot, I draw fish quite a lot. So often when I've got a new group of students, I'll get a handful of fish and bring them into the workshop and we'll draw fish. Of course, it's quite exciting because they're smelly and fishy, um, but that can be really good fun. And I'm encouraging the students to try and draw as much detail as they can, looking at fish from different angles uh, and look at the colors and really try and understand some of the anatomy. So today we're just going to be drawing uh, couple of sardines, these little sardines, um, available from all good supermarkets, very cheap, only about 10p a fish, um, and you get the benefit of not being able to smell them uh, on, uh, on the internet. Um, but yes, drawing from life, looking at fish, uh, and enjoying um, studying some of the anatomy and qualities of a fish. Fun things to draw, let's have a go. So here are a couple of sardines on a plate um, in the sun. Uh, beautiful things, sardines. Uh, all fish are beautiful when you look at them closely. Um, and these are just from a local supermarket. Um, very cheap, about 10p a fish, astonishingly. Um, and then uh, that's, you know, you get them in a kind of, in this case, in a pack of a few of them together. Um, but you can often buy them individually, um, but maybe not during lockdown. So when I'm drawing a fish, first of all, just a, a quick outline shape, just the basic shape, that streamlined shape of a fish and the tail. So you're getting a sense of the proportions. Um, just dropping in a dorsal fin uh, and you know the eye and the structures of the head because those things very quickly then begin to kind of shape the fish and so you can see what you're looking at. So that first line drawing in pen is just about establishing where everything is really uh, and laying it out. Then I'm working into the head on the different elements of the head. Now a sardine, like a lot of small fish, like you know herrings and sprats and, and other fishes, you know it's got quite a kind of complicated set of gill covers and plates on the head. So this really tests you to look. Uh, and in this case, in a sardine, you've got all those different shapes around the head um, that make up the gill and the mouth structures, and you've got to really look carefully for them. The fins, of course, I've pulled that top fin out, the dorsal fin, so you can see that a little bit more clearly. Um, and you know, so having some fins really helps establish the shape of the fish. And that bottom fin there, the dorsal fin. Now the top of the fish, like sardine, like most fish, is darker and the underside is lighter. So you can see I'm, I'm focusing on those upper and lower parts of the fish. And I've made a big sweeping line down the side of the fish because I'm keeping an eye on how the shine hits the fish, the shine of the light on the scales. You know, they're quite uh, beautiful uh, and iridescent and shiny fish, particularly when they're wet. So I'm trying to make sure I keep some of the paper white as I drop in those darker marks on the top of the fish and begin to kind of pick out a few details for scales or in this case you know the kind of the lovely kind of hairy quality to the to the very fine elements of the, of the tail fin there of a, of a sardine lying on a plate. So you've really got to look at the fish not just assume that you know what a fish looks like but really look at the different elements of the fish um, and so I'm drawing all the details as I say of things like the plates of the head. On the head of the sardine you've got all these gill covers um, and these different plate elements and in the case of a sardine the mouth actually protrudes out when it catches even smaller fish and um, you know small shrimps and things to eat in the sea so its mouth almost extends out um, becomes you know come, pokes right out the front and all of those mechanical elements are kind of hidden within the, the, the structures of the head so you've got to really look carefully at how things overlap. So suggestion of you know some of uh, the scales but the scales are quite hard to see on a sardine um, and then I'm just adding some color not a lot of color this is a very fine line pen drawing I'm just using a little bit of color to pick out some of those lovely bronzes uh, that you see in the color of the head the yellows and oranges and then the blue metallic gray quality of the body so not a lot of color just a little bit of color detail to kind of pick out some highlights and I think we're doing a page of drawing it's nice if you know you only color maybe one or two uh, of the drawings out of a selection it's nice not to finish everything uh, inverted commas kind of in the same way it's nice if some pen drawings maybe a uh, you know left as line drawings and others have maybe a bit of color detail added but often less is more and if i make mistakes most commonly it's it's over painting or over drawing you know you can deaden the drawing or the painting by adding too much just a little touch of a wash there to give it a bit of shadow underneath so just a bit of color leaving that white flash to show where the reflection hits the body and then I carry on with a bit of brown pencil. So enjoy um, a series of fish studies. Lovely thing to draw uh, you know, at any time. Uh, and I'm pleased I can get hold of at least some uh, fish, sardines in this case, uh, even in lockdown in the supermarket. So look, look at fish and look at everything from different angles. Um, hold things up in different ways. Try and capture as much information as you can. And it's really nice in a sheet of drawing if you've got lots of different drawings from different angles, positions and scales, maybe using different media. So in this case, brown pencil, watercolour and pen on the same page of drawing. 
Anyway, enjoy. Uh, have uh, have a lovely day, everyone. Bye.